Hi viewers, the watch feature today will be from the Dive Specialist Doxa. And this is the marvellous Doxa Sub 600T. This is the new model. And it's a spectacular watch. So the case size on this one is a very reasonable 40 millimeters. The lug to lug is 47.6. It's 14.15 thick, it's quite a, quite a thick watch. And the lug width is 20 mil. Now this is powered by the Solita SW200-1. Nothing special about the movement, but it's very reliable and very accurate. Now this is a new model from Doxa. It was only recently released and uh, it is a relaunch of the original Sub 600 and it really is a fantastic piece, very solid. The build quality on this, as with all Doxa watches, is amazing. The finishing is beautiful, the combination there of brushed finish on the side of the case and then you can see that beautiful polished section on that chamfered edge of the lugs so well done you can just see that glints there in the sun wonderful polishing it's a mirror finish on that and then the bezel is a stainless steel bezel with that sandblast finish they do also provide these with a ceramic bezel as well and you've got the, as well as the minute scale, you've got the extra no decompression scale on this bezel. These really are professional diving watches. 600 meters of water resistance. And this is a unidirectional 120 clip bezel movement. Very, very solid. No play at all. Nice movement. Lines up perfectly. Now while the top of the bezel, the flat part is sandblasted, the edge does have a polished finish and quite a unique grip to it. A variant of the coin edge, but it's very easy to grip. The dial on this is beautiful. It's the dark blue Caribbean dial. Now, the one great thing about Doxa dive watches is they do produce them in many different glorious colours. So you've got this one, then you've obviously got the professional orange, the pale blue aquamarine, then there's the yellow, the black shark hunter, and the white as well. So there's a choice for everyone. The indices, they're not applied, but they're really well printed filled with loom and the handset is really marvelous beautiful finishing on the hands it's all about legibility and that is a very very legible dial wonderful contrast so easy to read fantastic now this one comes as you can see on this very interesting stainless steel bracelet not like the usual beads of rice bracelet you see on other Doxa watches. This one is really quite unique. It's uh, very well made. The finishing, some of the best brushed finishing I've seen on the bracelet. It really does catch the light superbly. You can see the edges of the links are polished. And the flat surface there is all brushed. But it is beautiful, really plays in the light nicely. And they articulate so smoothly, it's just silky, silky smooth. There is a quite a gap in between the links, but that's deliberate to make it very flexible and comfortable. And you can just see it drapes, just drapes over the watch and your wrist. 
a really really well done bracelet the clasp very nice too really well embossed with the logo and the fish brushed finish very solid but the one disappointment is this nasty stamped metal dive extension which really I don't think has any place being on a fifteen hundred dollar watch. That's just too cheap. Shame. But other than that, I can't complain about the strap at all. It's really fantastic, very good quality, apart from that dive extension. The crown side again with the fish, screw down crown. Pops nicely and super slick. Date change, very smooth as well. And obviously that's in the four o'clock position. It's a very snug fit in those crown guards. That's going nowhere, very secure. I think Doctor watches are so unique. The build quality really is superb and you can see that it's not a cheap watch. It's so well put together. I really, n you never see these watches discounted. Doctor watches are always sold at full price. And I think there's a good reason why they're just so well made. These are high-end dive watches and um, there's a lot of demand for them, very popular. People appreciate the fit and finish and the superb build quality of each Doxa watch. And this new 600 is absolutely fantastic. It's got a good weight to it. The, the watch is unique looking but it's not garish in any way. It's quite a nice compact size. So let's have a look at that case back as well. Because that really is smart. Wonderful deep embossing. Beautifully done. Mirror polish finish on the outside of that fish logo. The yinny fish. Beautiful, really, really well done. You can see how thick it is. It's a chunky watch, but being 40 mil in diameter, it doesn't feel oversized. Beautiful, love the way that's done. Right, I'll just put that on the wrist and show you how that looks. Very, very comfortable. It does sit quite high on the wrist thanks to that bulky case back, but it's not a problem. The bracelet just hugs the wrists. It's just such a beautiful bracelet, that. And the uh, fairly short lug-to-lug -lug measurement helps the watch look good on the wrist. It doesn't overextend. Very nice indeed. Okay, I'll show you a loom shot now in the dark. This is a very solid, handsome piece. It's not cheap. These ones retail at around about £1,300, $1,500. And with the ceramic bezel, then it's a little bit more as well. Or if you prefer the rubber strap, then it's a bit cheaper. So yeah, it's, it's quite expensive, but it certainly feels worth that price I mean it's not a overpriced watch the build quality really is exceptional
and also it's a very unique watch it's something a little bit different and in my opinion it's very pleasing to the eye okay let's uh, zoom in on that dial and see that in a bit more detail see how crisp that printing is it's absolutely perfect and the finishing on those hands flawless you see the numbers on the scales on the bezel are etched in it's not just printed they are engraved into the bezel and then filled with paint very legible very hard wearing see that beautiful finishing on the bezel and on the case lovely polishing so well done glorious I was uh, deliberating over getting the watch with the ceramic bezel instead of the sandblasted steel bezel I like both and wasn't sure which one to go for but uh, when I found out that the ceramic one was going to be a two to three week wait I just went for this one I'm too impatient to wait for that long so uh, so anyway I'm glad I went for the steel bezel I think it looks really cool it has a bit more of a tool feel about it and uh, just frames the watch very nicely especially with the darker blue dial I actually think the yellow version with the black ceramic bezel looks fantastic that's a, a lovely combination too so as I said there really is a choice for everyone with this watch they have created so many different combinations I think there's about 24 different combinations of bezel and dial color so all in all a fantastic watch I really am enjoying this one and I hope you enjoy this video too thank you so much for watching see you next time